Hey everyone, how's it going? Gamer Geek here, and today I have another awesome weekly update video for you guys. In today's video, we'll be talking all about the characters other than the Flash and how they'll fit into the game. I'll break down some of the other characters that'll be playable and to what capacity they'll be playable in the final game. We've already touched on this before in previous videos, kind of, but it was usually a shorthand answer that didn't really cover what the additional characters would be doing throughout the game or how you would play as them. So we'll cover all that in today's video. Continuing on with the side characters and their stories, we'll also be taking a look at the progress being made to the Arrow side story, and we'll be discussing what gameplay will look like for him in the final game. I hope you guys are excited for the video, and before we get started, go ahead and click that sub button down below. Chances are, clicking it won't give you speedster powers, but you'll never know unless you try. As always, you can check out the time codes in the video description if you want to jump around. Alright, let's get into it. Starting off, let's talk characters. We've already covered what characters will be in the game. Characters like Supergirl, Arrow obviously, Captain Cold, Impulse and Excess, and a whole slew of other characters. So they're in the game, that's great. But what can you, as the player, do with these characters? Can you fight them, play as them, but only in free roam? What's the deal? So originally, back at the start of development, the idea was that you would just select whoever you wanted to play as from a character select menu before going into free roam, and that'd be it. Very simple, no issue. As the game evolved though, and we've seen it grow from that tiny little side project to what it is now, there needed to be more substance to these other playable characters. So each major side character is going to have a short series of side quests that explain their inclusion in the main game, and why they're in Central City at the time of the game. You'll play as the character specific to each quest and work through a contained story separate from the main game. Keep in mind, not every playable character will have a playable quest line, just some of the more major side characters. Others will just be fun additions to the multiplayer modes I'm working on. So what do these side quests entail and how would you access them? Basically while free roaming around Central City, you'd switch your character to one specific to the quest line you're trying to follow and you'd go to the designated location to start that mission. Once in a mission, character select would be disabled and you'll be confined to a small portion of the city specific to your quest. Once the mission is over, you're free to move on to the next mission or continue free roaming around the city. It's a pretty simple setup and it makes it easy for players to track multiple quest lines without having to work through complicated menus to do them. Just show up, choose the character, and play. That sounds pretty good and all, but what are these quest lines all about, right? What's the story and are all of them connected? What's the deal? So the different quest lines aren't all connected. They're their own individual stories contained to the characters meant to play them. They don't weigh into the main game story at all and are just fun additional missions for the players to enjoy. I'm planning on the side quest rewarding the player with special drops like costumes or something, but that's all still being worked on. So you're probably wondering what the stories are for each of these character side missions, right? What's dragging these characters to Central City so they can all be involved in the main story? Well for those who don't want the side story spoiled, maybe you want to be surprised in the final game, you can go ahead and mute the video right now. I'll leave a little sign up to let you know I'm spoiling things, and when you see the little spoiler warning sign go away, you can go ahead and unmute. As for the people who don't care about spoilers, listen on. For Supergirl, she's fighting an alternate Earth doppelganger, similar to Kara from Earth X Story. The doppelganger Supergirl is a version of the character that had her own world corrupted and her universe was left in ruin after she failed to stop a crisis level event. The weight of her failure as a hero and protector broke her mind and she suffered a psychotic break, causing her to hate herself and any other Supergirl in existence. She broke free of her ruined universe and now travels the multiverse hunting down alternate versions of herself to take revenge for her universe's destruction, believing Supergirls aren't a good enough hero to exist and need to be wiped out, exterminated. She encounters Earth-38 Supergirl and nearly kills her, causing Supergirl-38 to flee to Earth-1 Central City, seeking help from Team Flash. Evil Supergirl follows you and your series of side missions is centered around defeating her and stopping her from destroying any more alternate worlds. Captain Cold's story has a bit of a twist, allowing you to play a less heroic role. Snart is on a series of heists and moves to Central City to try and make his biggest score yet. Captain Cold's questline follows the player robbing several key locations around Central City and trying to get away with it before Team Flash can intervene. This involves setting traps to keep Flash at bay, 
fighting the flash to get away safely, and trying to steal as much as you can before a hero arrives to stop you. This mission is kind of inspired by Grand Theft Auto's heist missions. You go in, steal as much as you can, you have to get out safely before somebody stops you. If you get into any kind of conflict, you have to fight your way out and be creative on how you get away. As for the Arrow, we can take a look at what I've been working on for his story. Arrow's story follows a city official from Star City getting kidnapped by a group of domestic terrorists. Arrow follows them to Central City and has to go through several missions infiltrating their various outposts to find and rescue the Star City official. Arrow's missions are based on stealth and strategy, rather than brute force and combat. Arrow has no notable powers, obviously, so he can't tank bullets like Supergirl or just slow his perception of time like the Flash. So, Arrow needs to be smart about how he infiltrates the different locations and take out enemies in smart ways. That being said, there will be times when combat is necessary throughout his story, and Arrow will need to be able to take out groups of thugs at a time if spotted. Okay, spoiler warning removed. I've been working primarily on Arrow's story over the past few days, designing one of his side missions where he tracks down the terrorist group to a hideout that they had at an abandoned Central City Airport hangar. It's not a real place from the show, if that confused anybody, I made it up. It started out as a generic nighttime level, but it's really evolving into a cool location. The street lights adding a bit of illumination to an otherwise dark and abandoned area sets a nice vibe for the area, and the shadows will be excellent cover for Arrow once stealth is fully implemented. The patrolling guards were fun to work on, with them having a randomized appearance so that every time you play the mission, it's not the same guard every time, you get some variety. As I keep working on this mission, the guards will obviously react to your presence, their animations will be a little more complex as they visibly scan the areas around them while patrolling, and the arrow character model will actually be implemented. I'm still finishing his uh, weight painting. I hope you guys are excited to see this game develop, and hopefully the stuff we talked about for the side character sounds interesting to you. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and if you think the side stories just aren't doing it for you, what would you like to see changed or added to make them better? Well, that's all I have for today's video. Be sure to leave me a like and a comment down below if you liked the video. Also, be sure to join us over on Discord, and if you like Minecraft, be sure to join the Community Minecraft server. The links are in the description box down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're still working towards 10k subs. If we reach that goal, we're adding Big Wheel to the CW Flash fan game like the community has been wanting. You don't want to miss out on that. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next one.